welcome back to another sewing tutorial with ruby so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a half circle gown so for this tutorial you need to take the following measurements the bust measurements the waist the half length the full length of the gown your shoulder measurement your bust point the bust broad the under bust the sleeve measurement the um, the length of the sleeve you want so I have my fabric laid on the table so um, to do this you're going to need like three yards of fabric by 45 to fold I'm going to fold this in a triangle form and I'm going to start from this point So we're going to cut the down part of this gown before we go over to the top part. So the formula for a half circle skirt is C equal to pi R. Where C is the circumference, pi is 3.142 which is constant and R is the radius. So then R equal to C over pi. So we are looking to get um, the value of R, all right? So wherever you see C, which is circumference, you put your waist measurement. So depending on your waist measurement, in this case, my waist measurement is 33. So I'm going to replace 33 with C over wherever you see pi, you put 3.142, which is constant, all right? So I'm going to divide 33 over 3.142 so the value of our r which is our radius is equal to 10.5 i hope this makes sense to you so if you have any question leave that in the comment section below and i'll get to it so from this point i'm going to measure 10.5 this way So I'll make sure to mark 10.5 round just from that point. So I'm going to go on to connect my points. All right, guys, so let's see what we have. Our waist is 33. Let's divide that by four and see what we have. So what we have is 8.25. So let's measure this and see what we have here. So what we have here is correct 8.2 approximately 8.3 so from this point i'm going to come down by one inch so that i will get an allowance for the side seam so what we have here is eight three quarter so it means that we have um half inch for the side seam which is very okay for me because is it this is a flay and so i don't need to add so much allowance to it so i'll go on to cut now if you don't want to go through this step you can always add your seam allowance to your waist measurement when doing the calculation so if your waist measurement is 33 you can add one to it which will give you 34 so you're going to divide that 34 by 3.142 which is the pi and whatever is your answer that is what you're going to use to cut so our half length is 16 inches to get a full length i'm going to minus my half length from my full length all right so this is 16 which is our half length i took it away from the actual measurement so i'm starting from 16 inches to measure so the full length of our gown is 42 i'm going to add one inch for the seam which is 43. i'm going to take that 43 measurement round So I'm going to go ahead to cut now. So this is what we have. I'm going to use this to cut out our back pattern. Okay, I placed this on another fabric folded in a triangle form. All right. 
the difference between the front and the back is just the one inch seam allowance that I gave for the zipper so the back is going to have a zipper so at this point I'll go on to cut So I'll slit open the zipper allowance so we're done with the skirt part let's go over to the top part all right guys so welcome to the part two of this video all right for this part I folded my fabric already but this wasn't folded in a triangle form just the normal way you would fold your fabric if you want to cut a straight skirt or if you want to cut a straight gown so i'm going to cut out this green line you can see so the half length is 16 inches which is here i'm going to add one inch which is going to serve for the seam allowance the measurement i'm going to be taking is 17 inches so my shoulder measurement is 16 inches. I'm going to divide that by two, which will give me eight inches. So I'm going to measure the eight inches here. So to get my armhole, I'm going to divide my bust measurement by six. So what I have is 6.666, like multiple six. So I'm going to add 1.5 inch to that. So what I have is 8.2 inches approximately. So from this point, I'm going to measure 8.2. So this shoulder measurement, I'm going to take it down to this point. I'll connect my points with a straight ruler. So my bust measurement is 40 inches. I'm going to divide that by four, which gives me 10 inches. So for my neckline, I'm going to make my neck width three inches, and then I'll make my neck depth 3.5 inches. So I'll use a straight ruler to connect my points. At those points, you have to determine whether you want to have a square neck, a round neck, a V neck, you know, whichever one you want. So I want a round neck, so I'm going to use my curve to give this a round neck. All right, so for my shoulder slant, I'm going to be coming down by one inch. And then I'll connect from that shoulder slant to my neckline so i'm going to get the midpoint between my shoulder slant and then this um, my bust line so this is seven inches so the midpoint is 3.5 inches so from this midpoint i'm going to come in by three quarter inch so i'm going to connect from this point to this point and then from this point to this point My bust point is 11 inches. So from this um, shoulder line, I'm going to come down by 11 inches. I'm going to add half inch um, to that, which is 11.5. The half inch is for the seam. My bust broad is eight inches. I'm going to divide that by two, which gives me four inches. I'm going to make it 4.5 inches because the half inch there is going to serve as my seam allowance for the joining so i'll connect my points with a straight ruler so i'm going to measure my armhole and then get the half of my armhole my armhole is 9.5 inches so the half is going to be four three quarter From that um, four three quarter, I'm going to come down by one inch. So from this point, I'm going to connect with a straight line. I had to transfer this to a plain paper so that you guys will see 
what I'm doing well, but all the measurements we've taken so far, everything is still intact. So my underbust is 14.5 inches. This is 14.5. I'm going to make it 15. So from this point we have here, I'm going to come down by one inch. And from this point, I'm going to go up by one inch. From this underbust line, I'm going to measure one inch on both sides. I'm going to measure one inch here and one inch on this other side. Then coming down to my waistline, I'm going to measure one inch on both sides. So I'm going to um, connect from this point where we came down by one inch to here and then from this point where we came down by one inch to this point. On these two sides, I'm going to measure half inch on both sides, half inch on this side and half inch on this other side. I'm going to connect my points. From this angle, I'm going to go up by one inch. So I don't want this to be pointed, so I'm going to use my curve to blur it out a little. So coming down to the waist, our waist measurement is 33. 33 um, divided by 4 is going to give us 8.25. So if I measure 8.25, this is where it is going to be. So because of this little mathematics that I did here, I'm going to add 4 inches to this 8.25. So 1 inch is going to go up from here, 1 inch is going to go up from here, making it a total of 2 inches. And I'm going to join this on a half inch mark. So what we have going on, you know, just here is 3 inches. And I'm also going to give 1 inch allowance for the side seam, which is going to make it 4 inches. So I'm going to add 4 inches to that 8.25 inches, which is going to give me 12 point two five approximately twelve point three inches then for the bust the bust measurement is 40 inches 40 by 4 is going to give us 10 inches so this is our 10 inch mark but we're not going to cut from there so what we have going on here here is half this is half half plus half is going to give us one inch so i'm going to be joining um this on a half inch mark half on this side half inch on this side which is going to give us one inch so here alone what we have is two inches this one inch we are going to cut off plus the half inch on both sides we're going to use to join this so what we have here is two inches plus one inch which is going to be for the seam so that 10 in inches we have i'm going to add three inches to that which is going to give us 13 inches so i'm going to mark at 13 inches then the under bust too is um, 12.3 so I'm going to go on to extend my bust line and I'm going to use my pattern master to connect my points At this point, I'm going to go on to cut out my pattern. So this is what we have. I'm going to use this to cut out my main fabric. So for the back, I'm going to give one inch allowance, which is going to be for the zipper. I'll connect my points with a straight ruler. 
so the back neck width is three inches then the back neck depth will be two inches Then the shoulder measurement is 8 inches, just like the front. The armhole is your bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5. Alright. So the bust measurement is 40 divided by 4, which is 10. And we have it here. And then the waist measurement is 33 divided that by 4 what we have is 8.2 so I'm going to add 1 inch allowance to that the 1 inch allowance is going to be for the darts so what we have is 9.2 so I'm going to connect from my bust to my waist for the shoulder slant, just like the front, I'm going to slam by one inch. Then I'll join it to the back neck. So I'm going to get the midpoint of 7.2, which is 3.6. From that um, midpoint, I'm going to draw a curve to the bust line. So I'm going to add one inch allowance on the side, which is going to be for the side seam. So I'll go on to cut up my back pattern. The half length is 16 inches and then I added one inch for the seam, which is 17 for the front, but I'm going to minus that one inch for the back. So the back half length is going to be 16 inches while the front is 17 inches. So what this simply means is that the back is supposed to be one inch shorter than the front. So I'm going to use this pattern to cut out my fabric. So guys, this is what we have. The front pattern and the back pattern. So with this pattern, you can cut out your lining in case you're fixing a lining. So guys, in the next um, section, I'll show you guys how to sew this. I'm thinking of adding a yoke to this dress, okay? But all of that will be in the next section because I'll need to join the bust here before I can cut um, my fabric so I can add my yoke. So guys, this is all about it for this video. If it was helpful, help me give this video a big like and also subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed already, feel free to share this video with your family and friends. All right, guys. Um, you know, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Let's engage. Okay, feel free to ask any questions you have and let, also let me know the videos you like to keep seeing here on this channel until next time guys keep staying safe and i'll catch you in my next video bye